r slash ask reddit what would you say is the one thing you can't forgive a person for my wife's family taking my distress at losing my wife at 39 as weakness and trying to take advantage to get whatever they could nope can't forget that one that is beyond shitty being distressed over losing your closest loved one is weakness do they not have any feelings for their own family member right that's the weird part it would make more sense for them to be just as if not more distressed than him people are weird af man like my mother would probably fret so much out would drive me to apathy it's her special skill though that said it does show that she cares my mom tried to pressure my sister like that when she handled my dad's estate. He died rather suddenly and since myself and my sister are only legally bound people to him and she was older she had to handle the estate without all testament. Turns out our dad's GF had been selling his shit under his nose while he was dying of cancer to buy meth and coke. Couple that with her husband's mom trying to put a hit out on her and being a livid beach my sister nearly miscarried due to stress and has since disowned and ignores pretty much everyone but me and either our family or her husband's family. <laughs> Marrying a family member's rapist. Knowingly. I have a family member who stayed married to her husband after he raped her sister-in-law, her brother's wife, and later tried to molest her little sister. When the little sister came forward, the rapist's wife told her she was lying and trying to steal her husband. At 13. The mental gymnastics people do in an attempt to validate their poor decisions never fails to anger me. This one is Olympic level. Jeez, that's mind blowing. Very scary. I would have to move far away. That's just crazy. Indeed. Hurting anyone that can't defend themselves. It's an extremely cowardly act. Wow I thought airbenders got wiped during the 100 year war. Though I agree. Those firebender corpses piled around Monk Jayatso didn't drop dead because they felt bad. Holy crap. I never made that connection. Not only that they would have been super powerful from the comet. I suddenly wish some amazing animator would make that fight. The other nations were lucky that the airbenders were pacifistic by nature. Legend of Korra Zahir proves that. Here, let me just pull the oxygen out of your body and form a vacuum in your respiratory system. In hindsight, a weird show to air between infinite reruns of SpongeBob SquarePants. Not simply doing something bad once, but doing it on purpose enjoying it and continuing to do it a person can't be forgiven until they've stopped for good or honestly fight the urge to do it again the best apology is change behavior an apology is a promise not an undo button or at least that's what i tell my students using a person's kindness for their own gain i had a hysterectomy at the ripe age of 32 and never had a chance to have children with my husband. My sister is an alcoholic and she gets very mean when she's drunk. She was upset with me one evening and she was leaving me message after message because I wouldn't pick up. I listened to one. I probably shouldn't have. She said you will never know what it's like to have children. You wouldn't have been a good mom. Pretty much saying I deserve it. She's 48 and knows better. But I don't think I can forgive her. She goes too far. But she's in rehab now for her 10th time. You don't have to forgive her. That's an awful thing to tell someone. Let alone a sibling. Yup. Whether she has an addiction or not. She's still filled with hatred. Anger and jealousy. Blood means jack shit if they're a horrible person and it's not on OP to stick around through it. Purposefully harming a child or animal. Do mosquitoes count? Because I feel absolutely no remorse and I usually kill them with fire. That's just self defense. My sister poured hot wax onto a mosquito. Let it dry and then she broke it in half with half mosquito in each. I tried the same. But it came out a gooey mess. Self defense isn't so easy. Breaking the trust you had in them even when you gave them a second chance. I've given people far too many second chances. To the point that I'm even skeptical about even giving second chances anymore. Since I know I'll just be hurt in the long run. I've stopped giving people second chances. Been hurt too many times by trusting those I loved with second, third, fourth chances. Now, everyone gets one. If trust is broken once, we're done. On some level I truly believe that it's better to not love trust at all than to love trust and get hurt. If they lie extensively and try to cover it up, break your heart, and then lie to you again, 
but you have no way to prove it. You end things but always wonder if you've made a mistake. My mom does this. I don't think I can break up with my mom though. I just stop believing in her. You can absolutely cut contact with your mother if all she does is hurt you. Don't put up with harmful behavior that you would never accept from someone else just because they are your parent. Or else it will never stop. Other than the obvious, committing a violent or sexual offense close friends or family suddenly ghosting me. It's cruel to leave someone twisting in the wind. Sack up and tell me that you don't want to be a part of my life, for whatever reason, and then move on. This is sad because my dad has issues with his siblings and his side of the family. I love my paternal cousins but since I am still living with my parents, I am not allowed to have any contact with them. I haven't seen them in about 7 years when I was 12. I miss them so bad. Once I move out, I'm going to go visit them. First thing, they've tried to reach out and it breaks my heart every time. But I have to delete their messages. Parents are extremely snoopy. The only thing that makes me feel a bit better is that they know about the tension between our parents and they know that I'm not allowed to talk to them. It really sucks, though. Oof, my ex ghosted me a couple weeks ago after about 6 months together. No explanation, no warning or led up, and worst of all not even an actual breakup or anything. Just stopped talking to me and blocked me. It's one thing if you don't want to be with me for whatever reason. Would still suck because things seemed great and I don't understand. But it's her choice if she doesn't want to be with me. But at least tell me instead of leaving me wondering what happened. If it was over. If she's coming back. ETC for 2 months. Maybe the worst part is that if she did actually come back I would still forgive her in a heartbeat. My mother dated this piece of shit guy. He acted nice at first. But then turned into a complete a shat. This was on a gain off a gain relationship. He would hit me and abuse me when my mom was around and even when she was she let him hit me. I was scared for my life one time when her and him were fighting. I had to grab a belt and whack him across his back in order to get him off of her. He chased me up the stairs and threatened to snap my neck. This was back when I was 9. The worst part is despite all the duck up things he did to my sister and me, my mom still had a child with the man. He doesn't pay child support and he bully his place off his own. He still live in apartment house in his 50s. He wanted to go to the NBA, but was too stupid and stubborn to finish college. He blames his behavior or his upbringing as his dad treated him the same. I'm not his son. He was never married to my mom. I have no reason to contact him even if he's the dad of my little sister. Visitation with him and my sister are limited because I was living on the house. I don't feel sad nor guilty for having that power over their relationship. It's at my sister's fault that she's in this world. But I hope she know that her dad is piece of shit. I hope one he does so I can spit on his grave. Have you ever figured out why your mother let him abuse you and your sister? Did she blame you for ruining her life? By having you, or some bullshit like that or was she a drug addict? No, she just has very crap taste in men. One guy was a broke ass thug. She gave me $20 for snack for my middle school dance. I had $15 left. She wanted back so we could drive him home cause he didn't have any money himself. One guy was kinda cool. He played football with me but it didn't work out with him. One was just an old guy who basically drove from the inter city of Minneapolis to the suburb to give my mom $20 worth of gas money. My father cheated on my mom when she had stage 4 cancer. I was 23 at the time and ended up giving up my apartment and moving back home to take care of her. She had squamous cell carcinoma on her foot so they had to amputate most of her leg and she was in a lot of pain. One night I heard them arguing and he said well I can't get it from you so I'll have to get it somewhere else. He ended up spending most of his time at the house of some woman he met from the neighborhood. My brothers. Who never so much as visited our mom during the time she was sick. Tell me I'm overreacting and I should just get over it. So long as I'm drawing breath. I'll never forgive that son of a bitch for treating my mom that way. And I'll continue to be estranged from my brothers. 2. When I was raped my best friend didn't want to believe me. Said it wasn't her place to take sides. I tried so hard to keep the relationship functioning. But that trauma defined me for years. And she only ever acknowledged it with if that did happen. At her 21st birthday she invited him to the party. And didn't tell me until I was already there. I left immediately and never replied to her text or call from her again. 
It's been years. Been exactly where you are. Cut those a-holes out and never looked back. If it's a spouse or partner. Cheating. I still don't get how men a cousin took his wife back. She had a full affair with his best friend. No way I could get past that. My first relationship was ended by a mutual friend who talked behind my back. She managed to convince my boyfriend that I was an a-hole for studying instead of partying with him. I wanted to give us financial stability so he could pursue his art career. After we broke up, she tried to form a relationship with him and failed miserably. I still talked to my ex and we got our friendship back. What she destroyed, though, will never be the same from as long as I can remember. She's the one person that I never managed to forgive. Sounds like he's an a-hole for listening to her. These were complicated times. I can't blame him. He was taken advantage of while in a shitty situation, and the relationship going long distance didn't help. Killing my daughter. I read your post history out of curiosity and it made me sad and angry. I hope you're coping okay. Shaming someone trying to better themselves, whether it might be an overweight person in the gym or someone working a minimum wage job. You have no idea what they are going through and yet you chose to make fun out of them. My so is doing this now. I recently lost 20 pounds and somehow he gained self-righteousness. Puts down overweight people. Calls them lazy. I just look at him like, are you serious? It took me 3 plus years to lose 20 pounds. He saw me struggle for years. But he assumes strangers have no backstory or struggles like I did. They're just lazy. It's infuriating. I would find it impossible to forgive myself after being cheated on. I know a lot of people who said they've been able to overcome this. But it was the one thing I would never be able to get past. It is a total violation of trust. Humiliating me horrifically over the course of multiple years that led me to develop crippling mental health and acting like just because you were a teenager it means nothing. This mother ducker Daniel asked me to bring my foil Cherizard Pokemon card to school to show it to him and I know he stole it out of my backpack later that day while we were at recess. I'll take this second grade grudge to the goddamn grave. Downright despicable and wholly unforgivable. Saying, if you ever need help. Just let me know. I let people know I needed help. They never had the time. This comes from raising a special needs kid and desperately needing time to get errands done or maybe having someone else step in for one bath time so I could rest my back. When my son died I wouldn't let any of them offer me anything. No. I don't want your damn casseroles and no. I don't want you coming back to my house. Stay the hell away because it's what you did best while he was still alive and living at home. My father calling the police on me after his girlfriend moved in and he changed the locks while all my stuff was in the house still. Using permanent marker on the whiteboard. Also, putting empty ice trays in the freezer. My mother orchestrating the adoption of my child to my aunt. Haven't seen my son in 8 years. Before anyone asks, she ran a campaign of lies against me to all the family and threatened to have me bodily harmed should I defy her. I was baker acted with her signature and she kidnapped my son to take him to his new parents. Needless to say, I moved continents and am now working on building my self confidence and independence. Emotionally abusing your child. Thanks mum and dad, for enabling. It really ducks up with your self worth. But also I guess not emotionally investing in those you're supposed to. A few years ago one of my ex's cousins died in a car crash. It took an extreme emotional toll on my ex and her entire family. My ex and her mother wound up on an extremely emotional late night phone call. For context they are Chinese. So I didn't understand any of the details of the conversation as I'm lying in bed they finally hang up their phones. And for whatever reason my spidey sense goes off. I get up to go check on my ex in the living room to find her holding a knife and moving it toward her wrist. I had to wrestle the knife from her and put her in a hold while she thrashed and cried uncontrollably. It turns out her mother ended their conversation telling her that she wished she had aborted her. Since then they have both gone to therapy, individually, and have not only worked out their problems but have forged an even stronger relationship than either of them ever thought they could have. I'm proud of both of them. But what the mother did that night, is one thing I can't and won't forgive her for. I can't forgive my now alienated spouse's family for all literally lining up to kick me when I was down. They never liked me, 
My husband at a low point had an affair and every member of his immediate family took that to mean it was now open season on me and each unleashed every verbal disgusting assault they could. All within weeks of my life having crumbled around me as I knew it. My husband worked his ass off in the years after to earn back my trust and respect. He was an incredibly damaged human from his upbringing in such a family. Therapy and more therapy. I lived years in agony out of love and respect for him. Trying to make it through the mire that my life had become. But I cannot bring myself to try to reconcile with people who literally saw me grasping for reasons to still live and decided to grind their heels into my fingers. They killed any chance of being in my life and the lives of my children for good. If someone tried to kill me I'd be unable to forgive them. Well I lost a friend because during a shooting happening near my school, first shooting I ever experienced, he told me and my other friends he was sad that he was stuck at home because it probably would have been exiting to experience. Just a cool thing ick now. Anyways duck that guy. I was terrified. Mine is more specific. I've never hated someone more in my life and I haven't forgiven them. I want them dead. My no longer best friend. 21F was sleeping with her professor, 40M, married, who emotionally manipulated her into the relationship. He stalked her, said nice things to her, messaged her online, bought her clothes to have sex in, told her he was aroused by her in when she was in class and it made his day. All this gross power play shit. One day my former friend and I booked tickets to Japan to go together. But apparently the professor booked tickets too so he could spend some more time with her away from prying eyes. The school administration had a word with them, but allowed it despite the obvious abuse of authority. I found out my friend told her parents that she was going with only me, when it was really the three of us so she could spend time with the people she cared about. I bailed. I cried. I was suddenly just a tool to make their relationship work. I can't imagine how forgiving my parents were when I said I was forfeiting a flight that cost so much of their money because it was a gift to me. The professor messaged me I made life difficult for him. What was gonna be their excuse for the flight now? He said, I haven't spoken to her since. Unloyalty, lying and stuff, since I have trust issues already. My ex at the moment since finding out I had cancer has been harassing me and taking me to courts near enough every month and also has been telling people that I've only a few weeks left to live etc. I'm not terminal. And for that, I can never forgive him. Who does that to someone trying to recover and stay stressless? My mom financially and emotionally cut off me and my sister when we were in our first and third years of college, respectively, to chase a relationship and business endeavor with a woman she had just started a relationship with. She spent close to a million dollars that would have been left to me and my siblings, while systematically cutting out everyone who questioned her decisions. Ultimately she lost everything, and now crashes on my sister's couch between evictions. She's never really assumed responsibility, so we can't forgive her, to be clear. It's not the money I can't forgive her for, it's the fact that I saw her in a place where she thought she didn't need us and could afford to kick us to the curb to benefit herself personally. So she did so. How a person acts when they feel like they have everything can be just as revealing as how they act when their back is up against the wall. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.